it's been probably a close to a month since I've done a motor vlog. They call me Cruise Man. I've put more than 150,000 miles on Honda Goldwings, riding all over this amazing country. Thousands of Goldwing owners have used my videos to guide them when working on their own bikes or considering which aftermarket products to purchase. I love riding and wrenching. These are my motor vlogs. Hello YouTube, this is Cruise Man and I'm back. I'm back on the Goldwing, the 2018 Goldwing. It's been probably a close to a month since I've done a motor vlog. Uh, as some of you may remember, if you watched my videos, I uh, had a pretty severe uh, attack of back pain. My lower back went out, and man, I'm telling you, I was off my feet for close to two weeks. And I think I even did a motor vlog where I'm just sitting in the garage talking, and it was about to kill me just to sit there and talk. Even one of the cool, uh, cool tools videos I did, I was uh, in back pain and I was kind of standing crooked while I was doing the video. It was really, really the worst uh, uh, back pain attack I've had in many, many years. And I'll, ha I'll get you know lower back pain from time to time, but it usually goes away in a couple of days. But this just, you know, hung on. I, I was even supposed to ride to a dinner ride and uh, couldn't make it. I mean, I had to take the car. I could not get my leg over the seat. That's how bad my back hurt. And I figured if I couldn't do that, it was probably pretty dangerous to ride anyway. But man, I am back. And, uh, you know, after the back pain, we're actually right in the middle of it. We left town for two weeks. We were in, uh, uh, on a cruise uh, for our other website, cruisereport.com, doing a review of a ship, which you can feel free to check out if you're interested in cruising. And uh, about three or four days into that cruise, the back just started to feel better. Ricky had some Valium and she gave me a, a Valium to relax the back muscles and I guess that did, it really helped. So anyway, it's good to be back motor vlogging from the bike instead of just sitting on a stool in the garage. I'm on my way to meet a friend for lunch it's 67 degrees today and almost no wind. It's beautiful. We've had some bad weather. And uh, just to bring you up to date on a few things, when we got back into the country, I had a, God, I had a ton of video projects stacked up that I had to do. Uh, if you've been checking my YouTube channel, you probably notice I've got, I think I put out four videos in the last two days. Uh, so when I first got back into the country, I basically tore the bike apart and it was apart for almost a week while I was shooting all these videos and doing all these installations. Um, so that kept me off the bike and out of motor vlogging for a while. But the bike's back together and this is my one of my first rides I've done with my brand new Honda luggage rack which I installed which is one of the videos you'll see on YouTube and what I'm really excited about is this uh, Pathfinder LED uh, sequential turn signal brake tail light running light that I have mounted underneath the luggage rack in fact if I'm being totally honest and I try to be uh, I didn't want a luggage rack on my bike. I'm not particularly crazy about luggage racks. I think they're kind of ugly. But this one's actually a pretty nice looking one. And they only hold five pounds anyway, so I think it's kind of worthless. And this one's pretty small. I don't know how you could put much on it anyway. Maybe roll up a rain suit or something. But I do like this having a light up higher on the bike, on the trunk. And I love this Pathfinder LED light because it's got the sequential turn signals, both left and right, obviously. And it's got a modulating brake light. When you hit your brakes, it flashes a few times, kind of gets a little extra attention. And, and it sits underneath the luggage rack, so it's up kind of eye level with a driver and a, and a car. So that's what I'm excited about not the luggage rack but the light that mounts under the luggage rack 
and so that that just is pretty cool i also installed one of those little honda led trunk lights and uh you know when i when i got it hey that's interesting my vent just popped up on its own I haven't had that happen before when i got the little honda trunk light i thought well this is kind of mickey mouse but i was going to tear the trunk lid apart anyway so i thought well i might as well go ahead and install it but you know the thing actually lights up the trunk at night i mean it really throws out a lot of light lights up the entire trunk now i know some of you guys have already put comments in on my video uh you can buy a stick on light for 3 dollars at Harbor Freight. I mean, you might even get a free one at Harbor Freight and you can Velcro it up there and it does the same thing. Yeah. But this has a cool factor. You know, it's factory, it's built in, it fits flush. The last thing I need is something else sticking underneath my trunk lid. I can barely get my helmet in as it is. So uh, I think it's kind of neat. And I think they're like 65 bucks or something. So if you're going to tear into your trunk lid anyway, and if you're going to install the uh, Honda harness, the sub harness, you might as well install that little trunk LED. It's pretty cool. So bikes all back together. Uh, we've done a bunch of videos for YouTube, I think four, and I've got a fifth one coming out on Monday. I'm also going to do a motor vlog here in just the next couple of days on a Can-Am Spider. I've never ridden a Can-Am Spider, and I thought, well, I'll try something different. I have to do a video for F4 Customs for their windshield on the Can-Am. So uh, I thought maybe I'll do a little motor vlog while I'm at it. If any of you guys own a Can-Am or have any experience with them, put some something in the comments down below. And also, let me remind you real quick, I'll close my face shield, it might help the sound a little better. If you like these motor vlogs, if you like my how-to videos, if you like my installation videos, please take a second to click that little subscribe button down below. And if you click on the little bell icon, YouTube will notify you when we come out with new videos, which hopefully will be a lot sooner now, a lot more regular basis now that I'm back in the country. Four new videos this week. Now, that's just the YouTube videos. I've also put out, I think, four new videos, at least four, on our 2018 Plus Goldwing Maintenance video series. So if you own that video series on demand, uh, you'll notice some new videos have been added. And I think I have at least three or four more that are in the mill right now. I'm just editing them down. So the great thing about the on-demand videos is once you pay for the videos, you automatically get the new ones that we add. You don't have to pay any more to get the additional videos. So as we come out with new maintenance videos, uh, those get added to your uh, list automatically. And if you're registered, uh, if you've registered with our website, then we notify you by email whenever we put out new videos. Also, I did something else recently. I get a lot of people asking me, what kind of tools do you use? Uh, what do you use to do this? What do you use to do that? So I set up a page on Amazon listing all the different tools that Amazon sells that I like and that I use and that I have used. Sometimes they're just little stuff. But you could check out my Amazon page. Uh, I put a link in the description down below and I'll put it up on the screen. So just check it out. And uh, I needed a place where I could kind of aggregate all of the things that I use that Amazon sells. And Amazon sells most of this stuff. Some of it you can buy at Harbor Freight or you can buy it at Walmart or Ace Hardware or wherever you like to shop. But a lot of you are like me. You're lazy and you just like to place an order on Amazon and have it show up in a day or two on your front porch and go about your business. So, a lot of new stuff coming up. Watch for my Can-Am motor vlog coming up next week. And more videos coming on YouTube. And if you subscribe to the 2018 Plus Goldwing Maintenance Series, more videos coming for you too. But that's about all I got for now. 
it's great to be back. I want to thank all of you that sent me emails and put comments in about my back pain. I really appreciate it. Wow, these things are loud. These Jeeps with the, with the off-road tires they make a lot of noise. But I appreciate all your comments, all your well wishes. And keep watching because there will be more coming soon on Cruise Man's Motovlog.